jail. And I would tell my clients too, I don't know why you get an attitude with me because I'll give you 180 days at the state jail facility to give you a little taste All right, of what it is. Record. Good luck to you. You had better start making better choices. Yep, still has the attitude. I still think I should have sent him to prison. So can I be excused? Yes. Okay. It still could happen. Hello. Hello. All right, court is calling 2024 CR 011153. State versus Jeremiah Day. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Ashley Jones. Defense. Irina Costa. And are you Mr. Day? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the court admonishments with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand in count three, you're charged with tampering or fabrication, physical evidence with intent to impair as a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, sir. Counselor, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Did Honor. you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, sir. According to the plea, the state is proceeding on count three. There's a $500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication. This is the run concurrent with 2024 CC 737065. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, sir. Defense is at the plea? Yes, sir. State is at the plea? Yes, sir. Outside the agreement, the state is recommending that your community supervision be for a term of four years. There'll be 40 hours of community service restitution. There'll be no contact with Carlicia, K A R L A. S H I A Johnson, anger management, tap evaluation, follow recommendations, MRT, and no firearm possession. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, sir. Then to the offenses charged in count three, how do you plea? Guilty, not guilty, and no contest? State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State offers states, states exhibits uh, one and all attachments, including states exhibit 1A. Any objection? No objection. The court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachment. And so the record is clear. The only thing that the court reviewed or listened to was the DVD. The court did not review the other stipulations. Oh, yeah. Just give me two minutes. Let me listen to one thing on this DV again. All right, just one second. Sure, After reviewing states' exhibits one and attachments, I need the disc. Uh, yes, Judge. Thank you. After reviewing states' exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Day is 19 years old. He would like to work as a roofer potentially soon he does not have a GED he does not have a high school diploma um, he would like to obtain one um, and he he does plan on moving forward being a more functional member of society he's very young he's going to be living with his mother um, and I believe that he has the support available to allow that to happen but I, I do think that um, getting his GED or some type of diploma would benefit him. Um, I, I don't believe that there's any other mental health diagnoses that I'm aware of um, in speaking with him, aside from, I believe, ADHD, but I think getting his diploma would help. All right, have you ever had employment? Doing what? All right, why are you arguing with your sister over a charger? that. All right, I see now why you, the reason why they're uh, recommending the MRT. I don't know how getting into an argument with your sister and how old is she? She's 16, you're 19. You're getting an argument with a 16 year old and this turns into a weapon and destroying a weapon. So what were you planning on doing? Were you planning on injuring your sister? then why would you even do this? 
I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with young people today. You, you're bringing nothing to the table. You don't have your GED. Public education is free. And as I tell everybody, people come over here from other countries, don't even speak English language. And the next thing you know, that person is the valedictorian of your school or first in your class because other people don't want to take advantage of the free opportunities that you have here. Slaves were not allowed to read or write. And they ended up sometimes to their detriment, to their death, learning how to read and write. And here you are with free education and you don't take advantage of it. All you're doing is hanging around with your hoodlum friends. And I'm gonna say hoodlum friends because they're not up to anything. You're not up to any good. You're at the Bear County Jail and I'm sure your attorney told you not to make phone calls. You're not listening. And probably if you didn't make that phone call at the jail, you probably wouldn't even be here. And don't tell me you didn't know the phone was recorded because every time at the Bear County Jail, and I would tell my clients too, I don't know why you get an attitude with me because I'll give you 180 days at the state jail facility to give you a little taste of what it is. I know that every time there's a phone call made from the jail, what ends up happening is they give the defendant's name, SID number, and they tell you that this call is being recorded. But you still going forward with that nonsense, you, you know, trying to injure your sister who's only 16 over a phone charger that probably neither one of you paid for. Your mom is probably the only person who working and y'all, you all are doing stupid stuff. And now look at you now, you're in an orange uniform, no education with a SID number. And now you're going to be on paper and you're going to have this felony following you around wherever you go because you don't wanna get your education and you wanna hang out with some thugs because y'all are watching video games or whatever nonsense y'all are doing, Fast and the Furious or the Godfather and think that this is what life is about. That whole little thing that I read in the waiver, you all could have ended up getting killed running around with a gun, you and your friend. And then you know what would end up happening? Your mom would have been crying on the news asking people to do a GoFundMe. I do think he needs some jail time. He has some issues. He has attitude issues and he has learned nothing from this entire thing. So counsel, do you want to tell me why I shouldn't give him a taste of the state jail facility to get his attitude in check? Your Honor, I think he has been in custody for I believe 90 days now. Um, and in speaking with him, he wants to get back to work. He wants to get his education. I think that that time period in the facility already or in Bear County Jail has given him at least a taste of what it could be. And I think that in this situation, giving him the opportunity to get his education and get back on track is warranted. He's young. And I understand that he, he could be sentenced and go to a state jail facility, but I don't think that that would benefit him. I think that if we're looking at rehabilitation, getting his education, taking the courses that the state recommended and doing what he needs to do while being supervised by Bear County would better serve him. State? Your Honor, uh, the defendant does not have much criminal history, at least in the way of any convictions, uh, given his age and given um, his acceptance of responsibility, the state uh, would recommend going forward uh, with our recommendation for deferred. Do you have any children? Please tell me you don't have any children. Well, I want you to be truthful, but I'm hoping you don't have any children because you're not ready for them. Do you have any children? Uh, probation, what do you think about uh, the conditions of MRT and anger management? Judge, I think those would be good. I would also probably add the safety course. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Court will sentence you to four years deferred adjudication. There's to be no contact with Carlicia Johnson. And you say that he would be living with his mom. Where is the 16 year old going to be living? If that's his stepsister, Your Honor. She doesn't live at the same residence. All right. So there'll be no contact with Carlicia Johnson. Proof of employment within 30 days. No employment as a home health care provider or 
with minors, regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular random UAs, 100 hours of community service restitution, you're either obtaining your GED or you're gonna obtain some kind of trade school certificate. Do you understand? Once he does that, the community service hours will be deemed satisfied. Anger management. Firearm safety course. The MRT. The MRT is supposed to help you make decisions. Correct decisions. Think things through before you act. Now, with regards to the TAP evaluation, have you used any drugs in the past? No marijuana? No alcohol? All right, TAP evaluation, that can be done out of custody. I'm gonna want field visits one time per month for eight months. Uh, probation, is there anything else? Okay. Anything else you need from the court? All right, this will run concurrent with 2024 CC 737065. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right, we can go off the record. Good luck to you. You had better start making better choices. Yep, still has the attitude. I still think I should have sent him to prison as a condition. That's my excuse. Yes. Okay. It still could happen. Uh, Sean, be sure to let him know that people have been sent to prison before. I'll talk to you. right now. New details this morning on a bizarre situation that started out with a disturbance and a gun and ended up with at least one person in custody. News for us, Christina De Leon joins us now with more on this situation. Christina, I heard you. Uh, working your sources this morning, trying to figure out what exactly uh, happened. This is, there's a lot to unpack in this story. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot. In fact, we're still trying to get more details onto how things unfolded. Here's what we can tell you. The police ended up at two locations, including an apartment complex and a hotel. And in the end, one person was taken into custody. Let's go to the video that we shot last night for you. This all started around 5.30. Police were originally called out to an apartment complex off Brindlewood near Fredericksburg after a call about a disturbance with a gun that's originally got police out there. You can see them on the scene. There the police officers with the long rifles out at one point. Police were setting up for a possible standoff situation. Then we're hearing that officers were sent to another nearby hotel, another location, and they found a suspect hiding underneath the stairs at the hotel. Now, police do tell us that one person was taken into custody. His charges include evading arrest an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. But again, we're still trying to get more information about all of the circumstances that unfolded that led to this um, person taken into custody and if more people were taken into custody and possible charges for them as well. Reporting live, I'm Christina Delion. We'll send it back to you now.